Either of them will sort of mix that up a little bit in the mirror when they've both got access yeah, to the same Yeah, so tools. we're doing a button check, right? Are we not? Did they do the button check already? Yeah, they wow. just did the button check. So slick. Yeah, we're going to be doing game one onto town and city here. And I agree 100% that they had different play styles. And not only that, they kind of evolved. It's like watching two organisms find their niche in, in like in the Galapagos Islands. As you know, they kind of realize what their strengths are going to be and they end up playing to it. I love how you made this all like so sophisticated as two <laughs> robs just mash down <laughs> tilt at each other. Um, Listen, uh, nature finds a way. <laughs> exactly. Listen, nature is all about the most effective way to do things and got to go with what works. Oh yeah, no, but they're, <laughs> they're just trading up airs. Back and forth right now. This oh! Nice. That is an interesting thing about this, right? Is that Rob, uh, a lot of the aerials are sort of parry bait. Oh! <laughs> that was pretty good. That Listen, that was pretty slick. Mm -hmm. And that puts Dill at a lead. And this is the sort of thing where Rob with the lead, especially against Rob, who, despite being a great character, the approach options are eh, not necessarily the greatest. So as we're seeing... Dill just kind of playing this, hoping to get some chip damage in, and every little bit of damage matters, but it's only going to be about 7% as Zomba manages to take that stock. Mm -hmm. And I like what we saw from Zomba there. The gyro was in play, went for the down tilt on that one, actually flinched because of the gyro, which allowed the pressure to continue, but if that hadn't worked, that would have potentially ended the down tilt a little earlier and got him out of trouble. Yeah, I'm liking the way that so... You see that Zomba's oh the aggression, the constant pressure, and it feels like the way that Dill is trying to play around it, it was micro spacing. Oh man. If that had connected, that would have absolutely been the death of Dill. I like how there's a little bit of the threat of the side B on that one, but Zomba just staying a little bit back and recovering high. Although this is the thing, both of them have decent juggling tools, but they're not the best at landing from on high, as we're seeing right here. Yeah, but one thing is that back air does cause a lot of displacement, so when done higher up, it can help with the landing, but the risk is if the opponent reads it, speaking of reads. That's the second forward smash kill that Dill has gotten. Granted, the first one was more, uh, like, you know, guaranteed, but nonetheless, the fact that She's taking stocks with these hard-hitting moves that, you know, for the most part, end, you know, even a Rob life pretty early. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, a pretty confident read at that, too. We had the uh, tech chase on that one immediately facing on the other side. It was super slick. And now look at this. This is this is that lead being played to before Zomba was able to even it up really quickly. Not so this time around. Already 97% knocked onto him. And it feels like at any instance he might just go, but... An excellent threaten on that one. It rolls behind on that one to threaten the throw and then chases the jump away as the defensive option. A really good call out. And yeah, at this point, Zumba down by quite a bit. Dill seems to be in real control, but bits of chip damage here and there. The only problem is Rob has a you know a decent amount of ways to set up for a kill. Oh, and we're probably <laughs> going to be seeing Dill go for some of those. But the question is whether you know she can actually land them because it seems like Zumba is starting to get chip damage, and once they're both at kill percent, then it you know percentage doesn't really matter. Oh, that'll but, do it. No. no! Oh, heavy boy! Town and city coming in clutch. And this is that landing issue you had talked about. No, no way. No, actually. Oh, no, okay, okay. okay, okay. That right. almost did it right there. And one more of those side bees off the side of the stage will absolutely end Dill. Mm -hmm. Really good move forward by uh, Dill on that one. Getting close and shielding and having uh, uh, access to the forward air out of shield is a really strong punish tool. Oh, Back throw is going to be some nice damage, but here's the thing. Yeah, Dill had a nice percentage lead, but okay, this will do it. Yeah, that nice. up throw absolutely right. going to be taking it. I do want town and city. I do want to also call attention to the recovery option you saw right there. The point blank gyro actually has a lot of really cool things going for it. On shield, the gyro just disappears. So that means on shield, there's no gyro there for Zomba to work with and potentially uh, put pressure on Dill. On hit, the gyro will be there to further cover the recovery. Really smart decision on that one. It's a little risky because, of course, if the opponent throws out a hitbox, there's a solid chance you're eating that. But uh, a lot of reward off of that. And once you get the move out, it does have a uh, little risk attached to it. Yeah. No, but honestly, Dill played really well that game. And the big thing is that she was getting these early stocks, things like, you know, just those forward smashes. Uh, 
and with that, eventually found a lead that you know that she could really play to. The thing is, though, you saw that when she couldn't Look get one of those. Clean yeah, that was that so was, that was dude. immediate. Just no reaction there. Just 100% intuition. Knowing oh yeah, happening. You're, you're rolling in. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the thing is, when when Dill isn't taking those stocks early with forward smash reads and that sort of thing, we saw it took him to like 190 with an up throw. So. Yep, there is uh, a little bit of a difficulty with Robin in terms of kill confirms once we get to that higher mid percent. Obviously, there's things like we saw uh, a little bit later, Zomba converting off the late hit nair into the side B and things like that. But there's not Ooh. too much of that to speak of, and you got to get close to box with Rob, and then Rob has to deal with the good out of shield options and fair and nair. And I will say, for one, Dill's recoveries and the overall disadvantage. Uh, you know, I was about to compliment it, but then she got carried from one side of that town to the other and eventually taken off the top right there. Zomba completely turning around this game. No shades of what had happened just a moment ago in game one because this is dominant. Mm -hmm, this is really good right now. We're actually seeing Zomba uh, getting the landing hitbox on the Nair, converting it into pressure and <laughs> he'll be dead. That's another dead. This is gone. Yep, this is a very sudden turnaround on this one. Zomba got a lot of the momentum and a lot of the pressure. Actually seeing a little bit of caution from him on this one, not going in super hard. Looking for the, the yeah. Z-drop conversion. <laughs> I mean, I think that at this point he has enough of a lead that even that didn't kill. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you think maybe if she had shifted more to the right? I was just thinking the that, same it, thing, yeah. But, there yeah. was a little shift over to the left on that one, perhaps part of uh, hit confirming it since it wasn't confirmed Would into. Would have gone the other way if she had gone to the right? Uh, no, so it, that always shoots the way you're facing. Think of like uh, Pikachu down smash, but in the air. <laughs> oh, horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pikachu down smash in the air, except it reflects projectiles. Oof. A little batting around to the neutral on this one. This is the thing, right, is that these forward airs, even though they're quite quick and not super punishable, they are commitments into the other space, and that leaves them open for a counter poke. Especially because we've already seen taking, you know, going into the air in and of itself, a little bit of a risk. Like, see, there it is right there. Yeah. And, you know, for the most part, Dill's micro spacing around that forward air has been really good. And look at how many of them that she's getting. But the issue is, forward air's not going to kill, especially when it's like eight times staled. Up air. Oh, oh falls out. That I must, don't know. That, that must might have been, been SDI. I was going to say, I. Uh, <laughs> going over to the next game. That's fair. Dill, Dill died when the up air first hit <laughs> connect. And it was just like, I'm. I'm not, no. No. <laughs> uh, this is not those sort of, like, I had life breathed back into me. I'm just, I'm out. Yeah, that was more like uh, you got an extra hour on time before they cut the cord. But I think there is something to be said for that. Obviously, you know, if you get uh, salty and carry that over into another game, that's something. But there is something to be said for conserving mental energy. Um, and in a situation like that where you're two stocks down, mathematically, you've got a really difficult road to climb at best. Um... See, so. but instead of just going into the blast zone, you should just taunt in place like five times <laughs> and force your opponent <laughs> to run up and s smash attack you while you're taunting. Maybe. That gives them the satisfaction that you get to whap them in the next game. Well, it's a, but in a way, you, you take control. You know, this the, there's the sort of like, you know, oh, you know, take control of your own destiny by throwing yourself into the blast zone. <laughs> but then it, there's also a method, you know, a means of control to just taunt in place and force your opponent to say, you have to kill me taunting here. I, I come, I fall upon my sword. <laughs> Well, regardless of where the sword will fall in this game, we're going into game three, the last one for both players. This is to knock them down and to move on to, I believe, winner's semis and now? Or is winner's it? finals. Winner's we're already finals. in winner's semis. And I, I believe the last time these two fought, it was Zomba, who was the victor. I don't know if Dill, maybe uh, Devin can help back up here, whether Dill has taken a set from Zomba this season. No post-pandemic sets for Dill, so that would be really big for her if she manages to do it. Mm -hmm. But look at this already. Zomba starting off pretty dang well. Yeah, but the Mouse ball is definitely in her court on this one because the game one was quite strong, but then we saw the adaptation from Zomba. So it's all on Dill now to sort of serve that back and come back swinging. Now already, I feel like there has been some counter adaptation. The disadvantage not nearly as bad as it was in that game too. Oh, and grabbing the gyro. Oh, Actually those down the pressure. With the gyro, with the up tilt. That's interesting. Oh! Right. Yeah, that gyro on the way down, knowing that there was that extra pressure. Oh, my God. Oh. 
the commitment, the stock right there. Honestly, that was beautiful. And those are the kind of early kills that Dill can absolutely turn into a massive lead. Mm -hmm. And we've seen a lot in these past two games, uh, Zomba sort of mixing up, going down to the ground on that one. We haven't seen a chase, especially that high really from Dill yet. So repping it now and getting the stock of the trouble in a game three, good place to pull it out as any. Oh. And now we're at the point where more and more damage, those forward airs which weren't killing in game two, are now just talking, tacking on solid damage. Zomba being, oh, Zomba with a little bit of stage control here, and the late back air, it's not going to actually be enough to take out Dill. Yeah. That down smash, though, really good option. Uh, Zomba, uh, sorry, Dill hadn't really shown that air dodge to ledge, but... Still ready for it. it Zomba managing to get the stock. Even. Yeah, it was a it was a limited sort of situation to be in rocket fuel, sort of dwindling on that one, and going high to make it known that oh, there's a couple of options here. Because if Dill had gone low, then she would only have rocket back up. But um, very difficult Ooh. situation to be there. There's only so much you can mix up in that scenario. Oh, I love I, the gyro right there. I thought there. that was going to be conversion off the gyro. Some crazy game. All right. Oh, this is yeah. This is before Dill kind of struggled with it, finding a way to actually end the stock. And now, despite the massive lead that Dill had, it's slowly being taken away. As now they're both deep in the red here. Any one of them could die at any instant, mm -hmm. you know, with the proper conversion. We're seeing a lot of stage control by Zomba on this one. Dill just hasn't been able to land back to center stage in like 30 seconds or more. Oh, that Nair finally giving it to her, but for how long? Oh, trapped at the ledge once more, to looking for these confirms, and it's more and more damage put on Tadell. That neutral oh. actually does it. Shoot, I thought that was going to be survived for sure, but very good on Zamba, just putting out the pressure on this one. There's so many hitboxes to get around, and Rob's resources, despite being very good on recovery, are limited. You can't recover forever. Man, look at this Zomba doing a lot of this sort of holding shield. And I mean, it's a good option. Rob, you know, despite having a really good grab at this point, probably not, you know, could get a decent amount off of it. But the fact that, you know, his range is so, so tiny, uh, it can make it hard to get that actual grab in the first place. Yep. And we're seeing so many options from Zomba here just uh, fake out, space out a little bit. Stuff where there might be uh, conversions on the table that are more guaranteed damage stuff, like going for the juggle, just go for the back air, it's safe, go away, tossing out gyro. All these options, because of the lead with all this extra credit, there's no need to put yourself at a great risk. Second although you will get... time that's happened! Yeah, caught yet again. And with that, we now do have one stock apiece, but Dill down by quite a bit here. Oh, might be some big damage though. Only about 33%, but it could grow. That particular exchange after the first forward air on that one, Zomba knew that the forward air could potentially be chased afterwards. Uh, backed up a little bit, did a forward air, and Dill was trying to go for the counter poke. Nothing for either player, but they're very aware of the advantage stage of these characters at this point. <gasps> oh, that up smash, a little bit too hungry, and Dill spaced around it beautifully. That's going to be way off stage. Zomba now forced to recover. We saw earlier this was something he was kind of struggling with, but right now Dill ends up being put at the ledge once more. Right, little toss of gyro, carry the laser. Oh Ooh, no, no not like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I don't think there's any actual conversions to kill off of that at that point. But, but it's still tons of damage. And now both of them deep in the red here. Those neutral air sending so far away. The point at which neutral air will kill will be a massive sort of, you know, crux oh, point. No. Can he tech it? no, that's gonna be the set. Zomba almost getting the comeback done on him. You know, still almost managing to do it. But unfortunately for her, uh, just keeping his head in the game and Zomba eventually scouting out that fight. This was a beautiful stock, by the way. Look yeah, that was this. a lot of really good damage on that one uh, with the gyro coming oh, in. threw the gyro up there, too. Did the gyro actually confirm? Can we go back here? I don't know that the gyro confirmed on that one. She definitely chased it up. But... Yeah, I, I mean, still catches the... Still using this gyro here. Okay, let's maybe pause it. No, it was a back air. Yeah, yeah, back air to move a little bit closer towards center stage, it looks like. I don't know that that would have been a punish on the end lag of the back air, but it was definitely a tough place to be, even if you fall well, through actually, that. Well, actually, maybe we can go back and take a look at it even closer, because I am still half I'm still half convinced that, uh, that that gyro might have landed. Because think about it. You know, if you went for a back air, then he would have been right in the gyro zone unless it despawned. Okay, so... Yeah, we... S yeah, so you we sure? see we saw the first back air. Oh yeah, air. no, the tire just came down right there. Yeah, so if we look over that, the first back air that came in was before the gyro was tossed, and yep. it looked like Zomba went for a second one. Apparently just um not expecting someone to go deep like that for the stock and uh 
Again, Dill pulling it out in game three to do it twice, it was very much cemented that uh, Zumba wasn't expecting it. It was like, okay, these first two games, this isn't happening. I don't have to worry about this, right? 